Greg, we had BJ Armstrong in studio here a couple weeks ago. And he said, out of all the Warriors that you cannot allow to beat you, that you focus on this one guy, you take this guy out, and you have the best chance of beating him. He didn't say Durant, which obviously the injury gods have removed. And he didn't say Curry. He said Draymond. And, man, yeah. I, I believe every last syllable of that, certainly after last night, he does everything, it seems, Greg. I'd love for you to put your expertise to, to that. You know what? I, I, Draymond Green is a Hall of Famer. I mean, that's really the best way to describe it. And he, you know, he, he reminds me of the of a John Havlicek type. Hmm. You, you know, he's a type of player. He just does whatever you need him to do to win a game. I mean, this guy had five block shots last night. You know, he, he let he in seven assists. Curry let, let him in assists. He had eight, but he, he basically he let him in rebounding. He chips in 16 points. You know, he's their emotional leader. You know, he he just and the other thing about him, he makes he makes winning plays that sometimes you know they get negated. But you know, basketball at the end of the day, it, Rich, it comes down. It's very similar to also. It comes down to possessions, right? And what he does is. When you got a team as skilled as they are, when you've got a guy that you know going into, he's going to give me eight or nine extra possessions just be, because of how he plays the game. You know, that's a lot of possessions. That, that's potentially, you know, 27, 24 points if, if off of threes. But realistically, you're looking at probably 14 points. So he's going to give me – forget the scoring. He's going to get us a chance to get 14 or 15 points extra every game – just because of his basketball IQ. And and it, that becomes invaluable when you've got great players. Like, if you take Draymond off this team, in a lot of ways, Golden State's Portland. <laughs> That's really huh. what they become. They become a, you know, a team with a great backcourt. Uh, they can probably win a series or two, possibly, but they're no way near contending for a world championship. Uh, That's his value. It's it's amazing what he's able to do night in and night out. Greg Anthony here on the Rich Eisen Show. I, I mean, you're just spitting truth there as far as I'm concerned. I mean, that you said a lot of things that maybe people might think is provocative, but, I mean, Draymond, with, it's his sixth career playoff game with five or more blocks. That's a Warriors franchise record. He's had seven straight games now with 10 or more rebounds, which he's never done in his career before. And it's at the most important part of the season, certainly with Durant out, seven assists. And it seems like many of them are coming from either the the free throw line or the top of the key. I mean, he's spreading the floor. He's, he's slashing to the basket himself. Couple of alley-oops last night. I mean, all different manners of hoops. And it all comes from him. It really is amazing, and and I don't know how you beat it. How how do you if you are Portland down 0-2, or you're in the Eastern Conference Finals, which we'll turn to in a second? What do you do right now, Greg? Well, I, I'm not a fan of their strategy in the pick and roll right now. Like be the Blazers. Know, it's funny people talk about. I, I don't think you can trap Curry in the pick and roll because of what you saw. Like what Draymond's doing. Is for him is his comfort zone. When you basically, if you think about a pick and roll on the strong side, when two guys double and they kick it to Draymond, you basically created a transition opportunity on the weak side. He's going to have a three on two on the weak side because he's going to make the play right away. Like he's going to make the right read, whether it's going to be the layup, which you saw him take a lot, or the dunk. That this is why Houston, even though they didn't beat him, one of the reasons Houston gives them more problems is because they can switch everything. And they don't give you those free rates. They make you have to play five on five over the course of the game. And listen, even by doing that, it's not like you stopped Curry. Curry still got his. Clay still gets his. Um, I just think that the strategy of trying to double um, or trying to, you know, like show and recover, those are tough against this team. I just don't. And, and, and having said that, now you have to have the personnel that allows you to be able to switch. You know, your bigs have to be able to play in space. Uh, and, and Golden State is just, from a basketball IQ standpoint, they're about as good as you could possibly be. It's why I think, you know, they, they have a chance to go down as the best team ever. Hmm. 
when you look at what they've accomplished and in essence this five year stretch, if they were to go on and win another championship, um and, and I know a lot of old heads like to always talk about, you know, back when we played, how much better the game is, that's a bunch of baloney. You are seeing the game play with the highest degree of skill that we've ever seen. For more of the Rich Eisen Show, tune to Audience Channel 239 on DirecTV for free on BR Live or download the Rich Eisen Show app.